Suppose we wish to compute the determinant of matrix A, which is a three by three matrix, using cofactor expansion on row two. We want to enter the expansion here and then find the value of the determinant. The method of cofactors is also referred to as expansion by minors, where the cofactor is given here and M is the minor. So using cofactor expansion on row two, we'd have the determinant of matrix A is equal to, well notice how the first element in row two is negative three. So we'd have negative three times the cofactor, which would be negative one raised to the power of I plus J, where I and J are the row and column of negative three. Negative three is in row two column one, so we'd have negative one raised to the power of two plus one times the minor which is a two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of the element negative three. So we'd eliminate row two, column one, leaving us with these four elements which make up this two by two determinant. So we have 15, 10, negative five, negative three. And then we'd have plus, the next element in row two is negative eight. So we have plus negative eight times a cofactor, which would be negative one raised to the power of I plus J. Because negative eight is in row two, column two, I plus J is two plus two, times a two by two determinant, or the minor, formed by eliminating the row and column of negative eight, which would be row two, column two. So we have five, ten, negative two, negative three. And then we have plus, the last element in row two is negative six. So we have plus and then negative six times the cofactor, which is negative one raised to the power of, negative six is in row two, column three, so we have raised to the power of two plus three times the two by two determinant of the minor formed by eliminating the row and column of negative six so we eliminate row two, column three. So we have five, 15, negative two, negative five. Let's simplify this one step before entering the expansion here. The determinant of matrix A is equal to, well negative three times negative one raised to the power of three is going to be positive three. So a positive three times the minor And we have plus negative eight times negative one to the fourth. This becomes positive one. So negative eight times positive one is equal to negative eight. So we have minus eight times the two by two determinant, or the minor. And then here we have plus negative six times negative one to the fifth, that's negative one. Negative six times negative one is positive six. So I have plus positive six times this two by two determinant or minor. So we enter all this information here. So again, we'd have positive three, and we have 15, 10, negative five, negative three. Notice there's a plus sign here, and we have a minus sign here. So we'll enter negative eight, and then the elements five, 10, negative two, negative three. And then we have plus six times this two by two determinant with elements five, 15, negative two, negative five. And now we want to go ahead and evaluate this. So to evaluate each two by two determinant, we'll find this product minus this product. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to three times here we'd have negative 45 minus negative 50 minus eight times negative 15 minus negative 20 plus six times negative 25 minus negative 30. So here we're going to have three times, this will be positive five minus eight times this is negative 15 plus 20, that's also a positive five. 
and then plus six times, this is 25 plus 30, which is also five. So we have 15 minus 40 plus 30, which equals positive five. So the value of the determinant is positive five. I hope you found this helpful.